Dear learners, welcome to NIS course on sociology at senior secondary level. Today we discuss about the topic marriage and family which is lesson number 12 and 13 of your textbook in sociology. In this session we will discuss about the concept of family and what are the kinds of family and what are the factors that affect family institution and we will also discuss about what are the changes that, that happen in family as a social institution throughout years. So, we will discuss this one by one. Let us discuss what the meaning and definition of family. If we will talk about family, it is a basic unit of social organization. It is a social defined set of relations between two persons or more who are related by birth, marriage or adoption. According to MacIver, family is a group defined by sex relationship sufficiently precise and enduring to provide for the procreation and upbringing of children. So, what is the sociological significance of family? The concept of family, the study of family is very much, very much important in the sociology as a subject because, because in the, through the family, the child learns how to cope up with the society, how to perform different functions, whether it is economic, social, or cultural functions in a society, and the person, uh, the the child also learns how to behave with the particular set of relations with the, when some kind of situation emerge whether it is bad or good situation but how to cope up with the situation. So, family is regarded the cornerstone of human society. It binds men and women and child in a stable relationship and so therefore, so whatever child learns in the family in the young age, so he or she is able to do in a, particular, in a better way when he becomes adult and he also taught to the other individuals or the, uh, the future generation how to behave and how to act and enact when such kind of situation also prevails. So, therefore, the concept of family is very much important in so sociology. So, family is also called as the transfer point of culture when we say that uh, what was what kind of practices, what kind of cultural practices were seen three decades or four decades ago that is now visible because the it is it is being transferred through the family from one generation to another generation. So, therefore, it is the family is also called as the transfer point of culture. So, there are two types of family, one is family orientation, one is family of procreation. What is family orientation? Where family in which a person is born is called family of orientation. Suppose, you will talk about um, uh, the relationship between father and son. So, that relationship is called family of orientation and where suppose you will say in a one family uh, both father, mother, son and daughter are there. So, that is that that kind of family is called family of orientation. But when you talk about family of procreation, the family which is set after after marriage, when you say the the uh, the family in which both husband and wife only there, so that is called family of procreation or when husband and wife comes together for in a family and then they have they have boy and girl. So, so that kind of family is called family of procreation. That means up marriage ke baad apka jo jo family set up hota hai, so that is called family of procreation. Let us discuss the very different characteristics characteristics of family. One is universality. That means family as a institution is found all over the country, where all over the world, whether it is Western society or Indian society, whether it is tribal society or urban society, you will find family as an institution every, in everywhere. And similarly, the kind of function they perform, so that is that is more or less similar, like procreation of child, the nurturance of children, and then the, the socialization of family members. So the kind of role, the role of, of family, whether it is urban society or rural society, whether it is western society or eastern society, it remains same. So, therefore, family as a institution is universally found everywhere. Then it has emotional basis like whenever such kind of any kind of situation comes, whether it is bad or good or uh, so in that situation, the family members be make together and they help each other so that so that some kind of any if any kind of situation prevails, so they they will be able to manage. So, the family has a social institution has its emotional basis, whether it is husband wife or 
so and later do help they help each other in different times of crisis or happy times and family institution is also limited size where the husband wife or son and daughter are there so in in most cases they have the extended family so it is if it is extended family so the number may be between uh, 10 to 15 or if it is a nuclear family the member may be 2 to 3 members will be there in the nu nutri nuclear family so family institution has a limited size similarly it has also nuclear position in social structure as i told you that means as you are moving towards modernity and if you look at the urban society you will find most of the family are in, in are, the, are nuclear in nature where there are only husband wife and son and daughter are there and there is no extended family so you can find nuclear family are more visible in so in our social structure even in, if we go to rural areas also we will find the nuclear families are more visible than the urban areas and then if we compare the, the different time period then social regulation also there although there is no defined rules and regulations but in the family uh, people are people are obeying certain rules and regulations how to behave with parents how to behave with the child how to behave with the uh, neighborhood so here the even the family members also helped uh, their younger generation to the child to learn different norms values so that they can be able to behave in a particular social manner and so they can, so their behaviors are social regulated and similarly it is also permanent and temporary nature family as a concept is permanent in nature but sometimes it is also temporary in nature suppose you talk about uh, the covid 19 situation it also happened that due to covid 19 many family members they lost their family members like so in some cases both husband and wife also passed away so in that case the family also get demolished it happens that the child may be attached to other family but that family which was there for a longer period of time they lost their family members so it has become temporary in nature so family we cannot say that is as a concept it is permanent but if we talk about individual family whether it is permanent and temporary in nature based on different situations let us discuss the different types of uh, types of family in, by residence one is patrilocal residence one is matrilocal residence and neolocal residence in case of patrilocal residence where when a person moves from the own areas to settles with the, uh, so their parents that is called patrilocal family but in case of matrilocal family where the uh, person once get married in case of matrilocal family the boy moves to the uh, moves to the moves to his in-laws um, place that is called matrilocal family and in case of neo local family it happens that after marriage both husband and wife settle themselves in a in a different locations ni where neither their uh, neither their parents or no, neither their in laws settle so that is called neo local families which is uh, mostly found with the emergence of modernity and uh, urbanization uh, if we talk about authority patriarchal authority family is most mostly visible in different parts of the world and if we we'll talk about india it is more more of patriarchal family where the dominance of the male members are more in uh, and they in whatever decision are being taken so the male members mostly take the decision that is called patriarchal family but if you look at the matriarchal family here the head of the family is the female and the female person takes all kind of decision in uh, whether it is uh, marriage whether it is whether it is economic decision or cultural decision so in case of matriarchal family the mother is the head and they took all kind of decision by size we, uh, we have already discussed one is nuclear family and one is joint family in nuclear family uh, mostly you will find uh, the husband wife son and daughter are there and in case of joint family so the head the gener the family for a generation also lives there along with husband wife they may be the husband's brother and husband's uh, uh, brother's wife may also stay with them that is called joint family where you have more numbers of family in between the parents in laws all the parents are also staying with the family that is called joint family 
If we talk about functions family, it has uh, it perform biological functions, economic functions, social functions, and cultural functions. So we'll discuss these functions one by one. Let us discuss what each biological functions. So uh, one of the major function is giving birth to children and providing physical protection to the family members. That is one kind of major biological function of the family. So therefore, if we will find that after marriage, uh, the uh, the bride and groom both are asked that uh, when you will have the child. So because uh, the, if they have the child, then they uh, so the family also goes for a longer generation than the family. So they also learn different rituals. So therefore, fam the basic function of family is giving birth to children. Similarly, uh, if any kind of accident or if anything happens in the uh, to the family members, they so their family members help each other and also they also give physical protection in whenever needed. The economy functions also uh, like uh, the major function of family is also providing food, clothing, shelter till they become self-reliant and it also helps to provide employment as well as income to the members. You might have seen that in a uh, particular family if they have number of uh, children in a family. so. The major role of the parents not only to um, help them to run social and cultural norms, they also provide economical support so that either they can go for business or they can go for education. So until the child becomes self-reliant, both both the parents with uh, both uh, mother and father, they give support to the child so that he becomes a uh, becomes the he is able to earn and he is able to support his my life and also his family members. So, so the um, family also plays very important economic functions. As I told you, family uh, helps a lot uh, in socialization of children. They uh, they uh, help the child to learn different norms and values, both material and non-material aspect of culture. In the uh, family, ch the child learns language, custom, etiquette, norms and values. If we'll, uh, now we are able to perform uh, different yagya or different sraddha in a particular manner, in a particular socially prescribed manner because our uh, parents, our grandfathers, grandmother, they have make us learn how to how to do such kind of sraddhas or how to whenever so any kind of festivals comes, we are also able to we are particular kind of dress pattern, we are able to uh, do uh, we are able to do the different uh, jhotis, we are able to do. Uh, different kind of uh, rituals because our father, our forefather they have make us learn. And similarly, we are able to behave in a particular manner with the, um, uh, uh, with, the, with the parents, with the neighborhood, with the society in a particular manner because, the, because the, our parents have helped us to learn how to behave in a particular manner. So we learn both custom, norms and values from our family members. So therefore, family is called as a primary agency of socialization where we learn all kind of uh, custom rituals values. Similarly, it also helps uh, in different uh, providing emotional psychological support as I told you suppose any kind of crisis both each and every family members help each other so that we are able to overcome from different kind of uh, uh, crisis situations also. And now, if we can find now uh, due to modernity, we have lot a lot of stress in our life. And when we are uh, so, therefore, whenever we become stressful, normally we play with our child. We, we also play with our um, uh, different family members, so that such kind of stress we will be able able to we are, we are able to overcome out of this stress. So we can say a family apart from economic functions, political functions, it also helps in the. Uh, providing emotional and psychological support. Now we will discuss about the concept of joint family, how the joint family has uh, uh, is, in, is an integral part of Indian social structure. What is joint family? Joint family is a group of people who live under the one roof who eat food, uh, cooked food at one earth, who hold, who hold property in a common and who participate in a common worksheet and related to each other as same particular type of kind of mm. Let us discuss what are the characteristics of joint family, what is large in size, I told you in comparison to nuclear family, the size of family is always higher, it is larger, where you uh, your um, 
uh, apart from husband wife husband's uh, brother and husband's brother's wife and the other family will also stay there so that is joint family is large in size it is also authoritarian structure where uh, the head of the family has the power to take decisions in every whether it is economic decision whether it is political decision whether it is social decision so the head of the family takes all kind of decision and here interest of the family as a whole is much more important than in individual interest for example during rituals even the um, any family member has any kind of emerging situation but he or she is uh, compiled he or he or she is influenced that whatever hap whatever may happen but he has to attend that ritual so you you may find that in in case of diwali or holi all family members are are certainly at uh, are going to their own family so that they can celebrate the festivals in a grand way in a grand manner similarly when the uh, in case of shraddha suppose suppose if any death death rituals happen in a part in a family so even though a person is highly statured even the person stays in uh, deep in the other parts of the india but normally they travel to their own place so that they can be the part of ritual and so here even the that individual has a different primary uh, task in his office but he takes leave from the office and attend the ritual so here he, uh, the individual interest given less priority and the family's interest in a collective manner is given more uh, priority and similarly uh, if we talk about the status of the person here is, is determined by the age and relation if 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 you have a um, elder member even they if he or she is not that much educated but his decision in every economic and uh, social decisions are given very very much importance and in case of joint family the uh, blood blood relationship gets preference over marital relationship for example even uh, husband and wife relations with subordinate to father father son relationship in case of joint family uh, similarly uh, in in case of uh, if there is in kind of crisis so both every family members help each other so that that, that person is able to overcome from that crisis situation so here joint fam therefore joint family is always also called as a very blessing times and here every members of the house also get equal attention uh, but if we do talk about the kind of uh, changes changes has happened in multifold in indian family and industrialization urbanization western culture modern education is little majors tension in the family these all have contributed in a multiple manner to changes in the family if we talk about uh, industrialization it it, uh, it has affected the family size in the even the functioning family in a large scale the size of the family have decreased under the impact of industrialization and urbanization you will find because people find very challenging to accommodate for large size family so therefore people prefer to have small uh, family uh, if if so you can take an example suppose in a particular uh, place even both uh, both brother may be staying for a longer period of time but once they get married they uh, get divided and they go to both the uh, brother they go to one brother uh, separated and go to different other places because the, because the normal uh, the size of the family the size of the house or the size of the family is not that much big to accommodate large size family and similarly the income of one mem in members also is insufficient to feed large families so therefore the size of family is decreased due to industrialization and urbanization similarly the changes in the function of family have also changed as i told you earlier the family is there only for to perform the functions of uh, sexual gratification of uh, uh, and then for the uh, economic operation but now if we'll talk about the kind of changes in the f that it has all it has been changed because of uh, urbanization now the earlier we we are saying that if the if uh, the family is there then they are able to take care of their child but now due to coming of of day care old age homes hostel restaurant and clubs so the changes of the changes in the family has also been uh, had changed the function of family have been changed it is not limited only to uh, care of the child it is not only limited to care of the older generation it has been changed a lot 
Similar field of the conflict between older and younger generation is seen families because of their inability to understand each other's viewpoint. Suppose you have a home, see if, if, uh, if the elder generation wants to see the mythological story, the younger generation wants to see the cartoon or they want to see the uh, game and the, they want to see the cricket match. So, uh, and similarly even the kind of thinking also differ, um, uh, varies between younger generation and older generation. Suppose if older generation wants that their, uh, uh, their uh, son or daughter or their grandson or daughter wants to uh, should marry within their own caste. But other, on the other hand, the younger generation wants to marry in uh, marry to a person who has, uh, who is working, the, who is working their own profession, who is working their own office, who is working in their own location. So, so here the, the ideological variation also takes place between, ideological conflict also ha, um, takes place between both younger generation and older, older generation. Uh, similarly, if you will find now due to modernity, due to urbanization, even there are uh, some married and employed, com, employ, employed couples are opting not to have children uh, despite financial stability. Similarly, you can find even uh, uh, both husband and wife works in different locations. If someone working in the southern part of India, other also working in the northern part of India. So, so these, these kind of changes uh, has also happened. Even uh, some of the uh, husband and wife they also want that they will they want to be in the relationship, but they want to be work in different uh, parts of the country or different spaces. Similarly, kinship ties are not very strong in today's family setup. They do not spend time, money and energy for their relatives and kinsmen also. Even some parents also do not take care of their children adequately because of business schedule. Therefore, either they uh, send to boarding school or they, they send to the daycare so that, so that they, can, uh, they can spend much time for their professional development, they can spend much time on their career. So, so these kind of changes are, are being seen in uh, our family as a social institution. Even you can find that uh, there are also uh, different, uh, even though the person does not go to the marital relationship, but they adopt the child and they take care of the child they, till they become grown up. So, so due to modernity and due to urbanization, uh, there are a lot of changes have happened throughout the country. It is not only in the urban areas, even it is also found in the rural areas, because in rural areas are, uh, are also much, much more connected to the media and technology and television and video. So, through this video and audio, they are able to, to the technological, uh, technological support, they are also able to understand the kind of requirement. So, and being influenced by the media and technology, the kind of changes have happened both in the urban areas and also in the rural areas. So, dear learners, in this uh, session we have discussed about what is family, what is, uh, what are different kinds of family. We also discussed about how industrialization, urbanization, uh, modern education, media and technology has affected so, um, the changes in the family and also there are also uh, uh, huge changes in the function of family. So, the, the family has not only changed in size, but also in structure and also in, the, in their function if we compare what is prevalent 50 years back and now. So, dear learners, if you have any kind of doubt, you can send a, an email to us at aosoc at the rate nis.ac.in and hope you are also uh, listening to our Mukta Vidya Bani program and also uh, participating in the Swayam MOOCs in sociology, Swayam platform. So, if you have any kind of doubt, you can send a mail, email to us at aosoci at the rate nis.ac.in. Thank you very much.